What is this expecting? A vector 3? Let's just boost this thing a little bit. So we'll make <laughs> white grass. Yeah, so obviously, you know, it's getting lit up very, very brightly. Um, and just our uh, our mountains are not super screwed up or something else. It's just we have very dark grass. Hard to tell sometimes. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a boost to this to the grass and see how that that goes. Alright, so let's turn the light down on the skylight. Alright, so we've got our shadows, we've got our directional light, and all that. Now, are we getting our shadows here properly? I'm not really seeing the... Can we turn these all the way down? I'm no longer seeing the shadows. Well, am I? Like the shadows are there. I guess I just don't want to turn up the light too much. It looks like the shadows are not... I mean, the shadows are affecting these things. But the shadows are not affecting this side of the interesting I mean that's correct right like but it's not really the effect that I want like I want these things to be lit less but I still want them to be in shadow And for them to be in shadow, they have to have some sort of lighting when they're... From this side, like... You know, they're, they're being lit here. We want some of that light to bleed through the object, basically. And that, I guess, is the subsurface stuff. Hmm. Force the normals to match the terrain? I don't know if I can do that. These are like separate meshes that get put onto the, the terrain, so they're not necessarily directly connected to each other. Yeah, I don't think I can do that.
Well, let's see if we turn that subsurface back on. If maybe some of that gives us an effect that we want. And of course, no, the answer is no. Well, why don't we take a look at the subsurface stuff real quick, right? Like. So the subsurface color and all that stuff, the, op the opacity right here, maybe this is what's causing the, um, the weirdness. So why don't we just set it to 0.5 as opposed to something else? All right, there we are. All right, so the reason we're getting all those weird grass tips was because the grass was. And that, that looks so much better. All right, so this... Oh, you thought I was working on a different... You start with giving them an up vector bias as well. Yeah, I think... I'll just, I'll just go over what we're doing right now, just because it might help. Uh, what we're doing is we're messing around with the grass and the lights. So we're trying to get, basically, that moon right there to cast a nice little shadow on the water. How about turn it off of all the other... The, um, we're casting shadows onto the terrain here, and we want to make sure that the shadows work properly, that everything works properly, and all that. And so far, we're just basically messing around with lighting to get it working, and I'm learning quite a bit about all the things involved. So the grass here, what we're doing before is the, we have a grass material which we have painted onto this thing. You can actually paint different layers, like I can paint dirt on this stuff and, you know, and then there's no, there's just dirt out there. And um, if we want to paint grass, we can just paint grass. And voila, grass all over the place. So, Kind of the point we're on right now is messing with that lighting. We have our ghost grass. And Bredesen, I'm not sure what you mean by OP right there. If you're using some shorthand for something that I don't really understand. And if you're saying, how about turn off, you know, turn off me altogether, then, well, Bredesen... That's your choice. You don't have to watch me. So, um, the opacity is for 0.5. We're doing that. All right. Let's mess with some of our lights to kind of get an idea about what they do for us. Make sure they're doing what we think they are. So, we've got our celestial light which is like we can turn that from 0 to 4 and that's looking okay our skylight is 2 so it's almost nothing 
All right, so it's just really bright. It's basically the grass is white, so it's coming off as very bright because it's just bright white. Cool. Kirk's under, Kirk's under protection at the moment. So I can uh, probably turn off my boost to the diffuse right here. And um, we'll see if... Because what's going to happen here is our subsurface color is going to come through and add to itself, I guess. So we're going to see a lot of color happen. The subsurface color is the color of the actual object. Well, that's not really what we want, right? Like, the subsurface color should be the color of the thing after lighting. So let's see, if we don't specify the subsurface color... Will it pick the color after lighting and all that? Or will it just have nothing? Or is the subsurface color just white? It looks like it's white. The haze of white? Yeah, that was the, the boost stuff I threw on there. And this is the subsurface color that's coming in. All right, so we'll see with the 0.9 opacity what this thing looks like. That's definitely closer to what we want, but I'm not impressed by the by that color like I really want the color of the the light to come through and that light over there what color is it it's white all right so why don't we just make it bright red well everything's coming through as black so if we make it if we make it green, everything comes through as green. Okay, so what I want to do really is... This celestial light, we're going to want to make this, you know, white. White light. And inside of our subsurface scattering, um, I think actually the subsurface color should be white, which is going to be the color of the light. So it's going to allow all light through. The opacity is going to be 0.9, though. So it will allow 10% of the light through, and it should be the color of the light, I believe. And it doesn't look like that's correct. Well, Bredesen, the, um, the subsurface color bleeding through is what's allowing us to get this shadow here, the mountain, on the grass. Otherwise, the shadow doesn't show up. So, that's not really an option. I'm surprised this opacity... I guess, is the opacity actually worthwhile? 
like we have the opacity here, which is the translucency of the material. Well, it has to do with, um, yeah, the, the light that's coming through is what's adding to the light and making it brighter and making it glow. So it's pretty much like the subsurface color and the base color need to not add together to be more than one, basically. Otherwise, it's going to glow if, um, if it's lit specifically. So I'm trying to figure out what actually because documentation we read over it doesn't really tell us exactly what it's doing for the shader it just says oh it lets light pass through it and you're like well, what does that mean you know mathematically for what we're working with So does the opacity do anything? So we're at one right here. If we're at zero, what does it do for us? So that's zero. Let's just turn off the skylight completely. Yeah, it's just not doing much at all. The opacity, I guess, really doesn't do anything. Gamo, I'm not sure if you're talking about with your previous comment there the this the subsurface stuff should it should multiply it should scatter light inside. Um, and the thing is, we're not really sure. You know, maybe Unreal's definition of how subsurface light works is different from you know the real definition or whatever. So, is there a way to link the skylight to the material, creating a sort of a light pass? Um, that's the other thing, is I could definitely have something pass into this material, the color of the light and everything else. I just don't want to do that, because then I would have to, like, if I have a global light that I wanted to use, I'd rather not have to pass that in. I'd rather have it just use what it's lit by without anything else going on. Alright, if I turn off the subsurface color entirely, 
And then all this is going to be just bright white, right? Yeah. yeah. Does the opacity make any difference if the subsurface color is not defined? Opacity zero for everything. Opacity one. Yes, the opacity does make a difference. Um, that's very interesting. Doesn't. And if we change the color of the light that's coming through, it should change. The color that gets bled through. So, okay, I'm starting to see a little bit more about this. He told the head of Denmark's biggest and perhaps main PBS TV channel about Brackenwood. He is an animation and comic fan. <laughs> well, I'm sure they'll fly Adam from Australia to Denmark. All right. So it looks like the opacity is used, but it's not really that great. I mean, let's just throw like a ridiculous value in the opacity and see if that does anything as well. Kind of how I discover how stuff... Yeah, Phantom Flies, that is. How I kind of discover how things work with a lot of systems is by just plugging in random values and seeing what actually happens to try to understand um, not just what... The definition of something should be but what the definition actually is behind the scenes and a lot of unreal stuff has not really done what you would expect it's like oh yeah this does this other thing because reasons so let's see what the subsurface color is it's a vector four looks like it is So why don't we plug in maybe like, you know, like a 0.2 or something like that into the material as a subsurface color. Let's try point one. Alright, so I think this is kind of how I want to do it, is I'd like to take the base color of this thing and multiply it by a value, and then also add white to that value. So, basically we take this color from our texture get our constant here. So our constant is going to be like 0 0.8. So I'll multiply this by 0 0.8. We'll multiply this 
We'll make this, you know, just like bright white. And we're gonna, you know, do like our subtract, you know, one minus this value here to get 0.2. Multiply that out. And we'll just do our add. And these need to be three vectors as opposed to four vectors for this to work properly. So it's going to let white light through, but 80% of that light is going to be captured by the green and be turned into green. So it should let white light come through properly, but it will be of a green hue. Looks like it's not really doing that. All right, let's kind of throw this stuff a little bit out of the way so we can put a comment around it so we can figure out what we're doing. All right, so we're going to add 0.2 to this. How come that's not green? We're multiplying it by 0.8. We're adding 0.1. Let's see, this should be... It's just a really dark texture. It does, there's just not much to it, is there? So it's pretty much black, which is why it's just not looking very good. Yeah, sorry, Brenton. I've got uh, links disabled in chat. You'll have to PM me the link if you'd like me to take a look at it and see if I can post that into the channel or not. So yeah, these are just too dark, so I probably should get a lighter version of this, perhaps? And I had to boost the color in order for it to actually look like anything.
Oh, I'm not sure. Like, I'm reading over this, and basically what you're saying is uh, we can create some edge highlights around these things in order to get, like, a highlight on the grass, I guess is maybe what you're seeing. Let's see, do we have a grass texture that's not so damn dark? I mean, I can try to boost the texture um, a little bit with those white coordinates. It's still just shit, isn't it? It needs to be more green. Let's just do that. We need more green. Alright, so that is subsurface light all the way green. Let's make it 50-50 of white and green. And that's definitely more what we're looking for. It's some sort of allow 50% of the light through as opposed to allow, you know, 100% of the light through. And this is 25% of the light getting passed through as a white light and the rest as green. Yeah. It's because it's pretty bright. So that's why we've got all this stuff here. So I'm just going to do it with 0.5. We'll see how that goes. Alright, we're going to turn this light back on here. We have intensity. We put it at 4. And it's basically what we want to have happen here is we only want subsurface light to come through with ah, yeah.
We only want the subsurface light to come through with light that is from the moon. We don't want subsurface light for other things. For the, you know, the all around effect. You know, the global lighting amount. It's like we want a global emissive light. Not not one of these. Well, let's see. If we just go straight with, you know, using that thing's color. The grass is actual color and it looks like such. Which I guess is how it's supposed to be. And it's just that we've got just too bright of grass now. And we need a better nighttime grass. And I should stop screwing around with the subsurface stuff because it's not really doing what I want. It's a white light, so it should be making things look like they're white. So what I should do is multiply this subsurface color value by my opacity that I'm doing here, or whatever. This opacity really wasn't doing what I wanted. Because I guess maybe it's not using the opacity if it's using the opacity mask. Yeah, that seems to be looking a lot better. It's like it was allowing too much light in beforehand. And now it's not. All right. So now maybe I can play around with that 50 50 split on the white light versus green light coming through. So let's try playing with the lights just a little bit here. The skylight, we've got it at 4. If we put it at 2, 1. If we turn it all the way up, yeah. We want it more down low. I think the 4 looks pretty decent. Alright, so I'll just leave that note there as to what's going on with this.
Yeah, and it's basically this opacity. I don't think this opacity is doing anything, is it? Because we have the opacity mask set. Because the mode is decal blend mode is translucent, but it's it's surface and the blend mode is masks mask. So we should just hook the opacity and the opacity mask into the same thing and just let that do what it does. What is that? So obviously I'm wrong. So let's see if there's anything on that. Yeah, they're not using the opacity here, so it's just the subsurface color on there, and it's like 0.21. It's a very small one, so it's letting through red light of a certain amount, and that's about it. So I shouldn't screw around with the opacity stuff. I should just mess around with the subsurface color. So I'll just make that a little bit cleaner. And President, for all the, the basic stuff like what color everything should be, I'm going to kick back a lot of that to Adam. I'm just trying to make sure that the technical bits actually work because he's the artist. He knows a hell of a lot more about making stuff look good than I do. I just want to make sure that the shading is actually doing what it should as opposed to not doing what it should. It would be cool to have some of those effects though with like a highlight on stuff all right and those things are all in shadow I'm pretty sure let's just go make sure they're shadowed like these are not shadowed or they're completely shadow. Oh, they're completely shadow. Would that make a difference though? Let's make sure that they would look correct if they were not in shadow. <laughs> yeah, there's just the edge of space. It's just over there, Bitey. It's over the next hill.
Like, these are lit, right? Dashkin mast lit sprite. So the only light they should be getting... is from this object, and... the only light that should be affecting them is going to be the light from the skylight. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything we need to do with those. Like if they need some transparency and some subsurface light going on. Well, if they're all in shadow, then it really shouldn't matter. But let's say we had a row of trees that was way up front. Like, we should be seeing that row of trees, you know, lit up, which we are not. So we'd want to go to our mastlet sprite material. We'd want to make another material called, like, Dashkin Masked Subsurface Sprite. Let's see what that looks like. So if we change this from blend mode mask, um, material mode, default lit, we want subsurface. We want the subsurface color. You know, we'd want to do the exact same sort of stuff there where we would snag the this sort of thing. And grab that and make our subsurface color something along those lines. And let's see. Yeah, so you can see it's lit from behind with the proper shadow on it. And it looks stupid because I can't actually see the, uh, can't see it too well. I can't see the base of it. That's really interesting that the shadow is like this, but then I guess that's just distance for you.
I'm trying to see if the shadow is the same on this object. Okay, that is just weird. Does that have something to do with how big this texture is without having many verts? So really, hmm. I mean, it's almost the effect that I want. But the shadows being cast onto it aren't correct, are they? If it's uh, not a two-sided surface, does that matter? Yeah, if it's not two-sided, it looks like crap. It doesn't work. All right, it's surface. It's masked. Opacity mask. It's clip plane. Hmm. I'm just wondering why these shadows are so different on this object than on the terrain. And let's see. Maybe it's that the, the world is wrong? Because this world is at a, like a 5 degree angle. So if I canted this by 5 degrees... Will it look more like what it's supposed to? It's probably correct, and I'm just confused as to why it's correct than anything else. Because the shadow on the ground looks right. And we're getting, you know, the pass through there on the top of the tree, which is looking actually pretty cool. I like that. See how it looks close to the camera. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's definitely getting the right shadow. It's just my eye is not as well trained as others. And it's interesting that we get kind of an edge highlight there. Let's see, if we remove the opacity thing that we have there because it's masked, does that do anything for our object? Well, it just completely removes the, the subsurface stuff. It's like the inverse of the opacity or something like that is what's getting used for the subsurface. Let's try allowing all light through and see if that looks anywhere near. Like that's where the line is. It's like casting a shadow on itself though. Yeah, it looks like it's self-shadowing itself. Yeah, it's definitely that this thing is shadowing itself improperly. So let's see. If your light source mesh can't fit in this way. If you don't want to cast a shadow, I only want to disable self-shadowing. Self-shadowing cannot be disabled. You need to work around it by using a multiply of your base color plugged into the emissive input. Ouch. Alright, so... I guess that's kind of part of it, is if we're going to do some sort of 